Hi everyone, my name is Drini and welcome to my channel. So today we're going to talk about Star Atlas and its governance token Polis. So a lot of people confuse Atlas and Polis. Uh, Polis is actually Star Atlas's governance token, while Atlas is the in-game currency. It's very similar to when you look at Axie. AXS is Axie's governance token and SLP is its in-game currency or the, the currency that you earn while playing the game. So after a very successful launch, when the price ran up all the way to $19, the price has been steadily on decline. And if you notice, it's also coiling up. So it's coiling up into this pattern, which we call a descending triangle. So a descending triangle tends to be a very bearish pattern because once you break resistance, um, it tip it's typically uh, a sign that things will get lower. But thankfully, um, descending triangles don't always play out to the downside. So in this case for uh, Polis, we actually broke out of the upper trend line uh, that was decreasing. And because we broke out of this trend line, we have invalidated the descending triangle and now have a long-term technical target of around $16.80. Now, how do I know uh, what the technical target is? Typically, when we look at the descending triangle pattern and we break out of there, regardless of whether it's to the upside or to the downside, the height where we first form that triangle is usually the technical target. So in this case, this height, we overlay that around here, um, where the breakout happened, and that's how we get a technical target of $16.80. So we're on our way there. Um, but we will not get there tomorrow. Or maybe we will, who knows, right? This is crypto. But the way it works is it will not be a straight line all the way to, to this technical target. What tends to happen is, of course, we will have up and downs along the way. But because this is the pattern that's in play, this will play out unless we invalidate this trend line going to this technical target. How do we know that that pattern is invalidated? If the price of Polis falls back into the triangle and breaks this resistance line to the downside, then our technical target of $16 plus uh, is invalidated for now. So now that we know our long-term target here, let's look at some recent price action to see where we're going. So over the past one month, for the majority of that month, the Polis price action has been going through a broadening descending channel. So for those of you who are not aware, a broadening descending channel is the price action falls between two major trend lines. And these two major trend lines are widening, um, are widening as the price moves up and down. Now, typically a broadening descending channel is a bullish pattern, but only if we break out of the upper trend line. So if price breaks through this upper trend line, then we have confirmed that breakout and we have technical targets to the upside. Now we tried going there. So the price shot up all the way to $9. We didn't really reach our technical target uh, of around $9.58. So the way it works is when you break out of a broadening descending channel pattern, you, t you go back to the price where you first started it. So we're not yet there, but we're on our way. So when we reached the high of $9, we actually retraced back a little bit. Now, for those of you who are wondering, is this the end? Not really. Uh, this is actually very healthy for the markets because after a huge run up, do expect some cool down um, before continuation. And that's exactly what happened. So if you notice here, after the high of nine, the price action went back into a descending triangle pattern, which again, like I mentioned earlier, it's typically a bearish pattern, but in this case, it broke up to the upside. And like I said earlier, when we break out, regardless of whether it's up or down, the technical target for that pattern would be the height of this triangle overlaid to where the price broke out. And if you notice, it played out exactly as we predicted here. So you have a technical target of $8.33. After the breakout, where did the price rally? A little above $8.33 before it retraced back. And now it's continuing to move on from here. So 
we have met some te technical targets. We know some long-term price action. Is there anything else that we can uh, see as to what Polis is currently going through? So I'm going to zoom in closer to the Polis price action recently. This is over the past one week or so. To illustrate that there are more bullish signs ahead. So high probability that we keep going up from here, uh, I am very confident in because apart from the patterns that I showcased earlier, we continue to exhibit bullish after bullish indicators. So one, we have formed a golden cross. This is on a four hour. So we have formed a golden cross where the 21 EMA has crossed the 55. This is typically a very bullish sign because it signifies a momentum shift to the upside. So if you notice the 21 EMA, when we were falling on the broadening descending channel, it was below the 55. Now that it has crossed, it signifies a, an uptrend um, instead. Another bullish sign here is we have started to form lower lows and we have started to form higher highs. After a high of nine, we went through a descending triangle, but it broke up to the upside. When it broke up to the upside, it created a new bullish pattern, which we call a cup and handle. So this is the cup, the handle is being formed. So if price stays here for a while and breaks out of this resistance uh, line eventually, then we have a new technical target, a new short-term technical target, which we'll watch to see if we get there sooner or later. And again, how do I know? This is the technical target of around $9.88. You take the height of the cup, you overlay it on the resistance line. Once price breaks through this, then we will march on to $9.88. And that's pretty much it for uh, the police price action today. So I do love Star Atlas. So this is, this is definitely a project that I will be tracking moving forward. I do hope you join me in this journey because it's very important for any investor to understand what's going on in the market. Because when you understand what's happening from a price action perspective, the opportunities uh, appear where some, some opportunities because of certain scenarios may play out positively because it's either a buying opportunity for you or a selling opportunity for you. Who knows? In the meantime, if you like the video, do like and subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.